quiet moments to meditate have been rare since Zamarak returned to elsewhere. This one needed some time alone, especially after helping Tharn with the dragon at the Shadow Dance ruins. But you look like one who has important news, my friend. Zamarak suspected that would be our next destination. This one noticed that the moons have shifted in the sky, moving in a way that breaks their usual pattern. The betrayer's doing, yes? At least you and Queen Kamira returned from the ruins. Then we still have a chance. Zamarak has pledged his honor to Queen Kamira. He will not break that vow. This one has a purpose again, and will see it through, no matter the cost. Zamarak will meet you at the Moon Gate, my friend. Queen Kamira, attuned to the Lunar Lattice. Zamarak never expected to see such a miracle in his lifetime. This one prays that it will be enough when we stand against the dragons. About what you would expect. Tharn used flashy spells to confuse the dragon until it finally gave up and flew away. Then, we encountered the squad of Euraxians led by a necromancer. Those Zamarek dispatched. It was the least this one could do. Quiet moments between battles. I like to spend the time catching up in my reading. History, military strategy, recipe books. My secret pleasure is a good mystery, though. And the new Investigator Veil is a real page-turner. I've been waiting for the order to move out. I sent most of the Cygnus Irregulars on ahead with Garishri, but a small contingent remained here in case our earlier guess was wrong. I assume events in the ruins confirmed our theory? Understood. We need to defend the Moon Gate and stop the dragons from using it when it opens. Keep them from reaching Jode's core. Well, at least now we have a mission. I just hope the Khajiit can get over their aversion to working with my troops. Queen Euraxia's tyranny made the Khajiit wary. I don't blame them for that. I just want to show them that not all Imperials are tyrants. That they can trust at least a few of us. It will come. As long as we don't turn on each other first. Wine used to rejuvenate me after periods of intense exertion and spell casting. Now I can barely taste the stuff. A good thing too. Kajiti wine is cloyingly sweet, like drinking candy plums boiled in moon sugar. I presume you have news? The moon gate. A noble but futile proposition, I fear. The Khajiit should pack up and flee while they still can. Let the Alliance armies deal with this. Show them some fights are more important than deciding whose posterior best fits the ruby throne. No, no. Just pondering other options. Too much of what we're facing was the inadvertent result of my actions or the actions of my family. Dragons, 
Uraxians, necromancers. The responsibility falls to me and balance must be restored. Would you stand a chance otherwise? Without my arcane and strategic insights, anything you try is destined to fail. I won't have that on my conscience. Now, allow me to finish this sickeningly sweet inebriant one last indulgence before the end. By the way, I believe I understand the purpose of the Dragonhorn. After much consideration, the use and function of the ancient instrument has become clear. The Dragon Guard were clever, I'll say that for them. Theoretical knowledge isn't the same as practical experience, but I believe I understand the fundamentals of its operation. The Dragon Guard prepared a horn taken from a massive dragon and engraved it with arcane runes, giving it astonishing power. Oh yes, I'm fairly certain of that. And I found historical references indicating the Dragon Guard gifted such relics to key locations. For their protection, you see. The one you located was originally in Rimen before it was moved to the Sanctuary. We have neither the time nor resources to move the large relic, but the small horn you brought back, it's called a combat horn, by the way, was designed to be carried into battle. Once charged with energy, its sound weakens dragons. One problem solved, then. The next is sheer age. This ancient combat horn is exceedingly fragile. I'm not sure how many times we can sound the horn before it disintegrates into dust. For that reason, I suggest we save it until we absolutely need it. in a before-the-battle cleansing, I find it prudent to make myself pristine prior to the start of a slaughter. In my experience, the subsequent blood and gore adheres much better to a well laundered body. The Moongate. I hope to wash away the memories of the betrayer, and some stenches can't be removed with soap and water. I'm sorry I made the moons move, my friend. Sorry I helped the dragons. But before I became the gallantly gaunt soul shriven form you see today, I was the betrayer. I originally did all the terrible deeds that led us to this place. I'm, I'm rather ashamed. Dash it all. Yes, of course, that was my plan all along. Make up for my past atrocities by helping the nice cat people defeat the evil dragons, just like the hero I was before I became the betrayer. tally then. I'll head to the Moon Gate now and meet you there. As nice as these facilities are, I miss the boiling plasm pools of cold harbor. Hot enough to melt the skin right off your bones. What an invigorating sensation. And your point is? I don't seem to be making much progress. I'm hearing troubling rumors about Ashen Scar. Undead, mainly. I guess I can mark visiting there off my list. Ah, yes. The stories of an undead plague there makes this one so good to stand on air. With the rocks of undead marching out of their legs, see? You haven't heard that a necromancer is trying to stop the undead. Hmm. I would not be surprised if you heard it. Because why would a necromancer try to stop the undead?
I will suffer no interruptions.
Everyone has arrived. Report to Prefect Kalo Five Claw while I confer with the Queen. An eclipse is an eerie sight, but where are the dragons? The moons come together and the sky grows dark. Ominous, isn't it? And strangely beautiful. Where are the dragons, though? And the remaining Euraxians? I assumed they would have started their push for the Moongate by now. As ready as we can be, the Kashidi Militia and the Cygnus Irregulars have taken defensive positions along the path up to the Moongate, and whatever siege weapons we could get our hands on are set to repel the dragons. Not a chance. We only hope to slow them enough to give Tharn and Kamira the time they need to stop the Moongate from opening, or find a way to shut it if all else fails. If the dragons don't reach Jode's core, we win. Wait, what's that noise? Dragons, go join Queen Chimera. I'll take charge down here. Zamarak will go with you. Get those fires out and ready the ballistic. Move it, soldiers. Time for reckless audacity and dirty new. Euraxians, the wall has been breached. Kill the cats and the traitors! Ah! 
Up there. More Juraxians. yourself. More soldiers, take them down. <laughs> 